So, uh, how old is that bowl anyway? Well, let's see. How old am I? You're ninety years old. Ninety. Born in nineteen twenty-three. Actually, if I'm remembering right, I think I am. Uh, there was a pottery plant there somewhere around Jefferson, and that's where this bowl was made. How would you know that? Jefferson pottery. Well, uh, for a bad time for me to remember anything. <laughs> I thought that, uh, I thought you remembered that when you was a little girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I did that. Mama always would, would to keep flowering it all the time and dig out a hole in the flower and then, uh, she just sprinkled salt and, and uh, whatever she's going to put in the bread in the middle of that flour and uh, work some shortening up in it and then she'd pour milk in it and then she'd uh, pull some flour up from the side work that in with her fingers and then uh, she wanted more than that or well, she'd pour some more water in there and work some more flour and she always kept this flour salt salt and everything in it all seasonings in it so all she'd have to do is just pull it out and mix it in there with her fingers and then turn it over and over and over till she got it where it was thick enough from the flour on the side that she could just pinch it off and make biscuits and put them out in the pan. Were they good? Uh -huh. Were they good biscuits? Oh, you could just eat them by themselves. What, does everybody make biscuits like that or that was her own method? They tried, but nobody could make the biscuits good as Mama some kind of way she knew that. She just had a talent. Mm -hmm. And was that bowl right there? Mm-hmm. This bowl right here. So you don't really know where it was made at then, because you were a little girl? Uh, yeah, she had this one, a little girl, but I, it seemed like she told me it was made in Jefferson, oh. that pottery. Okay. Pottery plant. Yeah. I think we went to that place a few years ago. Was it Marshall or Jefferson? Jefferson. Well. Somewhere around uh, Jefferson and... Marshall, but it's closer to Jefferson. Oh, well. That was a town they always went to. Mims Chapel was a community for where Mama was brought up there on Cypress Creek. Little Cypress. Right. There's a big Cypress and a little Cypress. And that's where she yeah. was brought up. So that bowl, you remember that bowl when you were a little girl? Oh, yeah. So it was, was it, I think you told me one time it was old when you were a little girl, even. It was, it was old. So it's then. probably over 100 years old then, mm -hmm. oh, if you're 90, you know. It's, it's more than 100 years old, because jeepers, I'm almost 100. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Mama's made many a biscuit out of it. Did you ever make any biscuits in that bowl? Uh, yeah, Mama was come to live with me the same week that I got married. 1939. Oh, that's when I uh, started using this bowl. But Mama owned it up until then. Yeah. And then I got married, but she just 
moved right on in with your daddy and me. Brought the bowl. So, yeah, but did you make biscuits yourself out of that bowl yourself? Or she always did the biscuit making out of that? Yeah, Mama did most of the biscuit making. Yeah. She'd fill it full of flour and, and then dig a hole in the middle, middle of just that flour. Then she'd sprinkle her salt and baking powders and soda or whatever. And then she'd and shorten it. Then she'd reach around this flour and pull it in. Mix it up and keep pulling the dry stuff in until she got it the consistency that she hmm. could pinch the biscuit off and yeah. put them in the bowl. And it was my understanding that there was a as far as I can remember right now, there was a pottery plant in Jefferson, and that's where this was made. Probably was. It's in good shape. To be so old. Mm, yeah, it's old, old, old. Okay. I'm getting pretty old, and so that's what Mama was making biscuits. As far back as I can remember. I can see a, a, a mark. It's either a T or an L or an I or something. On the bottom of it. It's the only mark I can see. I got no identity on it. That's all I see. Maybe someone out there knows. Well, this bowl always sat on the cabinet underneath the shelves. We push it back under there, but keep it half full of flour <coughs> at all times. And then we'd go to make bread. We'd uh, dig a little hole right in the middle of this flour. And then we'd sprinkle salt and baking powders and soda and everything and uh, put a little shortening in there and then we'd start pouring milk in there and then working it with our fingers we didn't use a spoon but you're saying you always kept flour in that bowl at all times uh -huh. what what was did you have it covered with anything to keep roaches and bugs off of it That's a trick question. <laughs> and I, I don't know what. What kept the oh, bugs? I know. <laughs> it. She had a cabinet, and it had two doors on it, and they took a piece of tin. Like a pie safe. Huh? Like a pie safe. Yeah. And took a nail, and. Uh, For air. Air holes. Yeah go in there and sometimes they'd draw a picture you know and then take a nail go around this picture and it picture and it made it pretty from a distance in the kitchen and the, they didn't have no place to put their cakes and pies to keep the flies off of them so they'd open the door and uh, put their you're looking at Linda and not me. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> well, there's cabinets up there is what I was thinking about. So y'all kept that bowl with flour in that pie safe instead of on the counter? Is that right? No, we pushed it under the shelves. It's like those shelves are up there. We pushed this to the back. And then I would just pull it out. So what kept the bugs off of it? You just prayed a lot? You just look, <laughs> if there's any bugs, you get them out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you always looked in there to see there was any no bugs crawling around. If you did, you'd get them out. Save those for later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't 
them bugs swimming around in our bean soup after we'd get the beans to boiling. Mm. These bugs had come out of the beans. You know, the beans is uh, picked uh, dry off of the stalk. Then we'd shell them and put them in something underneath the shelf, the cabinets. So you said when you were cooking them, you had to just kind of stir them off the top of the the beans. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we took them after they got the boiling. You couldn't see the bean, the bugs in the beans or peas. You had to wait till you got them boiling, and then the bugs come out, and you skim them off and get rid of them, and then just continue boiling. Every once in a while, you lift the lid. See if there's any more bugs come out of the beans and come to the top. There was, you skimmed them off. Was it bugs or worms? There was, uh, I don't know, I can't remember worms, but okay. bugs. But I guess it was worms. I can't remember worms. You probably ate a lot of them. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Marvin would say, well, you don't have to put no meat in these, <laughs> in these beans today. There's plenty of worms coming to the top as they started boiling, you know. Plenty of protein from the bugs. Mm -hmm. You didn't throw nothing away. You just skimmed them all. Didn't eat them. Times were hard, huh? Mm -hmm. Nobody knows now what hard times was from back then. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right.